Hello, I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to be doing two different looks. We're going to be doing some makeup application tips on a more natural bare makeup look on this side of the face. And then we're going to be doing a more emphasized look of makeup on the right side of the face. So let's get started. I actually just finished wiping off the remaining mascara off my lids with some micellar water and I have popped on some lip moisturizer. This is the one I've been really really loving at the moment by Malin and Goetz. Hydrates the lips. Prior to that I did do a lip scrub using the Colourpop lip scrub and wiped it off. So I have a very clean face at the moment. There is absolutely nothing on because I washed off last night's skincare. I just wanted to start off with a clean, fresh base. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is moisturizing the skin with an SPF sunscreen. And I've been loving the Naked Sundays SPF 50 plus. So we're gonna put some of that on the face to get started and prep the skin. Now, I'm gonna do my very best to showcase makeup application tips going on the left side of the face, which is gonna be minimal makeup. The right side of the face is going to be a little bit more makeup. I really don't know how it's gonna turn out just yet, but the thing is, it depends on how glamorous I guess I wanna get or not. We just don't know. So getting a little dollop of this moisturizing cream about that much. You need about that much for a full face. And just rub that into the face. Massage that into the skin. I am looking down into a mirror here. Now I am gonna apply an eye cream. It really does make a big difference in helping your concealer look better it um, can prevent cakiness it can prevent creasing and uh, you only just really need a very light touch and the eye cream that i'm using is by mecca max it's the chill out eye cream it has like a little metal applicator like this i just put like a pea-sized amount about that much rub my fingers together and apply that underneath the eyes Now on hand, I have a damp beauty sponge. Now on hand, I have a damp beauty application sponge, which we're gonna be using for the application on both sides. I am gonna be starting off with a light base of makeup. Now the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is the number one Chanel foundation. It is in the shade B30, so I'll just give that a bit of a shake and get a pump of that foundation and work that on parts of the skin and with my and with a damp beauty sponge work the foundation into the skin Just going to zoom you guys in closer. Concealer today, I'm using the Clo de Peau Concealer Stick. Just making sure to go in the inner corners of the eye and just where the dark shadow is with your fingers massage that concealer in. And take in the rest of the concealer that's in the inner corners of the eyes, just over the eyelids, because that is gonna act as the makeup eye primer. Just going to blend the rest of that Concealer in with the rest of the foundation. Now let's just go ahead and do eyebrows. I'm going to brush through the Glossier Boy Brow through the brows. 
Now, for the eyebrows, I pretty much keep them identical for whether or not I'm doing a glamorous or casual look. Sometimes I do them more fluffy and sometimes I do them more defined. Eyebrows are done. Now it's time to move on to doing the minimal look on the left hand side of the face. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of eyeliner. This is brown and I'm lining in between the upper lashes. Just looking down into a mirror and I'm getting very close to the base of the lower lashes. I'm just defining the lashes there to make it look like you have a bit more thickness. So when I look straight ahead into the camera, you will see that this is a little bit more defined than this side of the eye. We're just simply leaving it like that. Now we can go ahead. I'm just gonna be using the Lancome Hypnose Drama, doing a light coating of mascara on the top lashes. Okay, so mascara has been applied on the top lashes only. So what I'm gonna do now is just define the face a little bit. Now I have this contour stick by Mecca Max. It's a medium shade. And we're just gonna shade or define underneath the cheekbone area. So it looks like that. And I'm not gonna be worried too much on contouring the nose or anything like that because I just want to simply showcase how to do a very minimal look application tips on the side of the face that doesn't have much makeup. Blending this contour in with the damp beauty sponge. So you can see it's just given a little bit of structure on the face. So it just gives a bit of structure and definition. Now you can totally leave it like this, or if you want to amp it up just a slight touch, going with a little bit of blush. So this is my latest obsession in blush. It's like a corally shade, and I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of that on the apples of the cheek. Just about that much. And we're gonna go in with the same damp beauty sponge and blend that in. And guys, this is actually the completed look on the left hand side of the face for a truly natural, no makeup, well, we'll call it a no makeup makeup look, but for people who just really want the bare minimum. Now let's move on to the right side of the face and do a little bit more of a deeper look with the makeup. Okay, so although we've already got the foundation laid down, I'm gonna be going in again with the brown pencil and I'm gonna be defining the base of the lower lashes again, just like we did with the left side of the face. And then with the same pencil, just gonna wipe off the excess primer up the top there. And again, you'll have a bit of um, leftover primer on the other side, but you can just simply pat that in and it'll go away. Just getting the pencil and lining the upper lashes. And just with a pinky finger, we can go ahead and blend that in to shear it out. Now there's enough on there to actually work it up a little bit higher. Actually what I'll do is, I just had a thought, let's just deepen it up a little bit more on the outer edge. and then go ahead and work that 
eyeliner in up towards the outer corner of the eye and onto the lower part of the crease. So already you can see that there's a dramatic look from the left side of the face to the right. Now to set this so it doesn't crease, we go in with a little bit of any shade you want really, but I'm just dipping into this bronze shade here by Hourglass, just about that much, tapping off the excess and putting that over the black shadow just to lock that shade in now so the liner that i applied to the base of the lashes here i actually applied it more to the waterline and it's now transferred to the lower waterline works in our favor we can simply go ahead now and with another brush a little bit smaller going with the same bronze shade tap off the excess and run the brush underneath the lower lashes now you could make this eye even more dramatic by putting on like a shimmer in the inner corner of the eye another shimmery shade from the middle of the eye and taken up to the brow bone but I'm simply leaving it so just day and night do you know what I mean like day and night you could take this really easily and change it to obviously be more impactful on the right hand side if you wanted to but for the sake of this video I just wanted to let you know that you can definitely amp up a look. And now I'd like to just complete the look with mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Now, if you don't want to have transference of mascara on the lower lashes, I have some translucent powder. This is the under eye blurring powder by Pat McGrath tapping off the excess and dusting a light layer of powder underneath that eye. You can also leave this nice and dewy if you want, which I'm gonna do, but I'm just showing you how to mattify underneath the eyes with a little bit of translucent powder for the more dramatic look. So dewy, mattified. Okay, let's go ahead now and do some contouring on this side of the face and complete it. I am going to go ahead and use my contour stick and I think that's about enough we'll do there. Damp Beauty sponge using the same blush just going a little bit heavier. Blending that in with the Beauty Blender. Using some highlighter. The Hourglass highlighter I'm gonna be using is this one here. Just to let you know, that is the shade number six in Metallic Strobe Powder Champagne Strobe Light. Highlighting the top of the cheekbone into the upper edge of the eyebrow. Let's go ahead and apply a nice shade of lipstick. So I'm just overdrawing the lips with some eyeliner. Hmm. So with a lip liner, just go ahead and outline the edges of the lips. Now with me, I have actually gone in and overdrawn over the lip line. I love this lip liner. It's in the shade Supreme by Kosas. It's the Kosas Hot Liner. And I'm gonna be putting the shade that we used on our cheeks on the lips to fill it in.
Now if that's a little bit too much, you can go ahead and blend in the lip liner so that it isn't so obvious. And that is the end of makeup application tips for a more natural looking face, a more dramatic looking face. I'll just zoom you guys in a bit closer. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who you think might get some use out of it. If there is anything you'd like me to try out in a future video, please just shoot me through a comment and I would be more than happy to do that. Thank you again and I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are. Bye for now.